How's it going, guys? Hope you guys are having a great week. So this is Game News Friday, guys. So I'm going to be back today with some more gaming news uh, stories. Today's story in this video, I want to actually talk about Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. So do you remember when EA said that single-player games, uh, single linear, story-based, story-driven games were not popular and that they were choosing to go down the games-as-a-service route because they just didn't think that gamers and players really wanted those single player experiences. Well, I am delighted to report that Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order has absolutely proven EA wrong and has actually been a massive, massive success, not only in terms of critical response. At the moment, it's sitting pretty strongly on Metacritic with a score of 81 from critics and 8.1 from users, which is a very, very good user score. When we look at reviews, of the game, you know, it's mostly favorable, quite positive, and there are a lot of good things to say about Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Well, now it seems that it's also sold incredibly well, and actually, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order has broken a number of sales records for EA. Now, we know that EA is full of crap. We know that their, their, their message about single-player games is a load of bull. We know that there have been a lot of other single-player games that have disproved their theory that have shown it to be uh, complete rubbish um, of course you know god of war being an example of that the witcher 3 there's many many other games that have come out that have been outstanding single player experiences but what i like about this is it's actually an ea title that have proven ea wrong and i think ea are more likely to pay attention to that because it's from their own studios and it's them that are reaping the benefits of these sales so there was an article that came out this week on business wire um, which reported a little bit on Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. And this article is titled, The Force is Strong with Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I see what they did there. But it's been reported that in the first two weeks, EA achieved the fastest selling digital launch for a Star Wars game ever. And it has actually become EA's top selling Star Wars title on PC in its initial launch window. So it's actually outsold, um, um, Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront and Star Wars Battlefront 2. Now it's not surprising that it's done massively well on PC because actually for the first time EA have released the game on Steam um, as well as on their own uh, Origins store. So I think the fact that it's been available on Steam has you know really been a massive contributing factor to its very very good sales. Steam is a huge huge platform and having your game on there available for purchase is of course going to boost those sales and I think it's great that it's been available on Steam and when you look at uh, review scores and player um, scores I think there's over 17,000 reviews on there they're all very very positive and a lot of people recommending to play the game so it's done hugely well on PC which is great um, but also it's done incredibly well in terms of digital sales now I assume those are on console as well so PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. We haven't heard anything about physical sales. We don't know how the game performed um, in terms of its physical sales, but I would assume it did pretty well. Um, but the fact that it's the best Star Wars game in terms of sales that EA have ever produced um, is great, is really, really positive. And I'm really, really, really pleased um, to hear that it has done so well. I'm really happy that people have chosen to... It, support the game i think that's a re it sends a really important message to ea that we are willing to put down our money and we are willing to buy games if they're made well if they're good if they offer a lot of value for money and a great experience and star wars jedi fallen order does that um i will be re releasing a review hopefully in the next couple of weeks um but i've got to say it's a good game it's a really really great experience it's not it doesn't do anything new or innovative you know it takes elements of different genres so it takes elements of sort of the uncharted and the 
Tomb Raider series. It takes elements of Dark Souls in its combat and in its progression and in its in its sort of uh, meditation points and campfire esque locations. And it definitely takes elements of Metroidvania um, in its level design and you know in the way that you can unlock abilities and come back to areas and explore and open up new pathways and new avenues. So it picks things from different game genres and it meshes them together in a new kind of experience a star wars experience which is great um i had a blast playing it i really really enjoyed it i finished the game and i found it an incredibly enjoyable experience it's a game that you can finish in maybe 15 hours um 12 to 15 hours roughly and that's fine with me i don't need these massive huge hundreds of hours uh, worth of experiences um and it's just great to see that it's done so well so what does this mean for the future of ea well hopefully this will send a message to ea that you know gamers do want great single player story driven experiences i think the future for Star the star wars franchise is looking a little bit brighter of course the disappointment of battlefront and then the debacle with battlefront 2 and loot boxes and microtransactions i think a lot of star wars fans were really worried about the future of star wars games and and wanted that license to be taken away from ea but thankfully you know respawn are here i think i think respawn have done a great job i think a lot of credit needs to be given to the development team i think they've done an absolutely outstanding job it's a great game and i'm really looking forward to seeing what the future holds for cal and his team and the future of you know this story i think it's really interesting to have a game placed between episode three and episode four um and uh, yeah i know that respawn that the vin sampella has said and has been, you know gone on record as saying that you know if the game performs well and there is support for it that they would be open and would be really um hoping to continue on this franchise and that are wanting to continue to tell the story of Cal Kestis and and you know the story of the Jedi and and what happens there and I think I'm hoping you know that that this will help them to be able to realize that and, and hopefully ea will start to realize that not every game needs to be a games as a service not every game needs to be an online open world experience that not every game needs to have microtransactions to do well now of course in its initial couple of weeks it's done incredibly well and it's sold well and i think it's come out at a time in the year that is perfect for it you know this is definitely a period where there's a lot going on in the star wars universe of course we've got the new mandalorian tv show which has been incredibly popular and is and has been received very very well and is a great show and then of course we've got you know the new um star wars rise of skywalker movie which is coming out in december and there's been a lot of trailers and a lot of excitement and hype with that as well so i think it really was perfectly placed for jedi fallen order to be released and obviously a lot of that will have helped its sales and then of course it's a great game to buy going into the holiday season so i think it's going to do very well um throughout the holiday season and you know into christmas and and into the new year of course it's a one-time purchase so obviously ea are not going to be making any further money down the road um with microtransactions and things like that but you know what if the game's done so well i'd be completely fine with supporting the game with paid dlc content i'd have no problem with that um if it was good content if it expanded upon the story maybe a new map um a story expansion maybe um, uh, some new customization options would be great new costumes and things like that because it's kind of lacking a little bit in that area but so long as the dlc provided value for money i'd have no problem um you know purchasing that and supporting the game in that way because it's a great great experience there are some glitches there are some bugs but for the most part um compared to other games like anthem of course it's much better uh finished product and it and it's better polished and and the the level design and the combat and the game gameplay was was fantastic so yeah really really enjoyed jedi fallen order i'm really happy to see that it's broken a number of sales and i'm hoping that this is going to send a, a good message to, to ea and it's just disappointing that, that ea obviously cancelled um visceral games
Dreams Project Ragtag, you know, which was being headed up by the, you know, the very well known and famous Amy Hennig. That was promising to be, you know, a story based, linear, story driven game. Um, it sounded so cool, that project. It was like you play, you were like, you played like in a rag team group, like like Han Solo kind of smugglers and things in in the galaxy. Not playing as a Jedi, but you could jump between different characters, and it it just sounded really great. So it's just such a shame that that game um, did not get the support that it deserved and that it needed, and that obviously um, Respawn did get that. Maybe because they did so well with with Apex Legends and doing microtransactions in that way in that free to play game that. EA were willing to give them a little bit more freedom. But it shows EA that when you give a developer the freedom to create a game like this, to to have that freedom to create something that they're passionate about, that they believe in, without all this added pressure and and, and influence of having to do microtransactions and, and games as a service and things like that, that they, they can produce something that's really great and that gamers and the community will respond to it positively and will support it with their money and I'm hoping you know that EA will learn from that and I'm hoping that they'll start to maybe take the pressure off of you know different developers that are good at making those single player experiences like Bioware um, and we'll let them make the game that they want to make we'll let them tell this this linear single player experience because there's definitely you know the, there's a need for that and there's a demand for that in in the industry so yeah, so those, that was um, some really positive news this week and um, I'm excited to obviously share that with you guys. So let me know what you guys think of this news. What do you think this means for the future of EA? What do you think it means for the future of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order? Did you buy the game? Did you play the game? What are your thoughts on the game and did you enjoy your experience playing it? Please share in the comment section below. Anyway, um, that's the news story for this week. I will be, I've got one more video I'm going to make, so I'll be uploading that shortly after this. So I'll look forward to that. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great week. Take care. And as always, happy gaming. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.